All right, so uh, CNC's turned on and ready to go. Uh, boosted it up with some air, and uh, yeah, we're gonna cut some more parts today. In the meantime, uh, 3D printer is cranking away still. Uh, I think we're totally committed. This thing is awesome. It never fails at making a print no matter how I try to screw it up with not enough supports or whatever it is. Uh, we have a little bit of material, so we're committed. Uh, I got a material, I got a whole bunch of little parts, uh, glue sticks, uh, uh, small extruder heads, uh, various, uh, I think I got the vibration feet right there, I still haven't put them on. Uh, the thing just prints all the time. We're just running it like crazy. Anyway, uh, new subscriber, uh, Ed Callahan, you are the man uh, telling these knuckleheads what it's all about with uh, cutting brake rotors. Uh, just relax people relax I really like uh, having a video that you know for me went viral something like I don't know 18,000 views or something uh, but it took something controversial like cutting brake rotors to do it uh, doesn't matter anyway I feel like I should cut some brake rotors anyways uh, just to put another one out there uh, I've got two that need to be cut we'll see but really what we need to do is uh, we need to make some uh, balloon parts, some uh, a satellite that's going up in a high altitude balloon. So uh, one of my previous videos was about uh, cutting these little tiny angle brackets with uh, compound angles and now we're going to make some flat work. We'll do some flat work and then uh, maybe later on I've got another slightly more complex part that needs to be cut. So off to the video. All right guys here's the, uh, here's the first part we're going to cut. Uh, in the uh, flat work continuation for the uh, balloon uh, satellite project. So uh, first first uh, order of operations is a pocket. So that's going to kind of look like that. I used uh, an outline. I projected an outline of the part up and then just selected that and said pocket that whole thing and bring the material down to size. It's a it's quarter inch material. Uh, is our finished size and we're cutting it out of I think 3 8 material uh, that allows me to get this thing very flat and have a finished edge uh, on the side that counts uh, so that's our first operation uh, and then we're going to also uh, pocket out the center get rid of that uh, and then we're going to pocket again uh, these counter bores it looks like and then we have a contour ramp that's going to go in and finish the holes with a smaller end mill. I think we're down to uh, 3 16 now for a, a quarter inch clearance hole. Uh, and then uh, three speed, uh, 3D high speed dynamic uh, is going to be uh, done on all of these little recesses for lightening this thing up. I'm leaving material and then I'm going to clean that up with a ball. Uh, and then we've got a contour. I think that goes around, I think it does the holes, finishes the holes in the counter bores. And then another contour, uh, not ramp this time, but, uh, but just a straight contour. And that's up here. See that up here? So that's going to clean up the inside of the, of the big rectangular hole. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to cut. And let's, uh, let's generate some G-code. Kind of like that. And it's going to push it out to Code Expert. And bang, there we go. There's our G code. Um, I'm going to go ahead and file, save as. I'm going to send that to my CNC machine. I'll just send it with a text file. We'll call it baffle one save oh there's already a baffle one so yeah we'll just rewrite over that and boom it is sent all right here's the setup we got uh just got a great big thick like three quarter inch piece of aluminum and i drilled and tapped holes so that when we uncover them we can actually bolt this thing down and then cut the outside off uh, for right now we're holding it with these clamps um, I use just a simple X method, mi middle of the part, that's uh, center of everything. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, just line it up kind of close to the edges and uh, clamp her down and we should be able to repeat this. I have three, I think three of these things to make. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and 
send it and see what we get. All right, so the first stop is finishing up. Everything looks really nice. All right, so now we're cutting those pockets, the lightning holes, whatever you want to call them, little recesses to reduce the mass of this thing. Turn the coolant off so we can get in there a little closer. It's really a nice surface finish. And uh, everything is right on side. Alright, so now we're at the point where we need to uh, put a bolt in here. But the problem is, I need to chamfer that hole before the bolt goes in there. So, we're going to make a program to do that real quick. And then shove the bolts in. And then we can finish these pockets with a ball. Uh, and then chamfer the whole part. Uh, well, probably cut it out next, and then we'll chamfer the whole part, and, uh, and it'll be all done on this side. Okay, so now you can see what we got going on is a 3D high speed equals scallop cut down in these pockets. And uh, I guess if I zoom in, there you can see the pattern. So we're just trying to give. Make this thing look really nice. Do a nice presentation on surface finish and all the cut cut paths. Have it look real nice. Anyway, um, I'm gonna run out of time on this guy. So I think what we'll do is uh, is call it a day. Uh, I'm gonna finish up the uh, all of the little edge breaks and then cut the part out uh, its its outer perimeter um, on the next video, and uh, and then we'll show you what we do to flip this thing over. Uh, that'll be kind of interesting. So uh, stay tuned for the next video, and uh, and we'll go ahead and finish up the flat work on these parts and move on to the next.